I'm Tony Pale. And welcome to Vintage Keys Studio in Lockerley, Hampshire. Today, I'm going to be showing you our Hammond S6 chord organ. That's S6, not Essex. This was made in 1958 and designed by Lawrence Hammond, who was famous for the, the Hammond tone wheel organ. This isn't a tone wheel organ. This is a valve tone generator inside here. And you'll be seeing a photo just about now, here or here. This has got 30 valves inside, or, or tubes, or tubes. I've only just opened up the back of this thing because I've had it for quite a few years. I noticed recently that the, the mains cable had started to corrode and I, I touched it and then found out it was doing that all inside. So I've, I've put a new mains cable on and earthed it as well. It wasn't earthed either. Now this thing has got uh, three sets sections to it. It's got a polyphonic organ sound which is this se section here which is you get either strings or flutes but this sounds more like a brassy kind of a thing really so you got so and then then you've also got over the top of that you can also have a monosynth so it's got the polysynth there the monosynth um, is this thing here you can actually so if I turn the, the polyphonic organ off that's a monosynth over the top so it's rather unusual you can select different registers of the, the monosynth sound it's also got very like the Hammond Solovox from 1940, which we have over there. It's also got these tone controls for, for, for different timbres. So you've got the deep tone, a full tone sound, first voice, second voice, and brilliant. That wasn't quite so brilliant. And you can also combine them as well. You can also combine the three octaves together. So you've got the bass there. You can about bass and tenor there. And bass, tenor, soprano. Added that to the organ sound, the polyphonic sound. You may have seen me using this little knee trembler. Um, we have this thing here, which is very like on the onduline and on the, the clavuline and all those other things that have got these little knee levers. This one here actually reminds me of a trip to A&E. I once went uh, with my young daughter. When she was very small, she had a problem with her elbow and a tendon came off and her arm went limp. And the doctor came in and he said, oh, yes, this happens quite a lot with small children. And he had to do this special manoeuvre, like a, a Masonic handshake to, to get it to work again. It clicked back in. It was all fine. But if you just look down here, this is very similar the way you turn this machine on. They must have been thinking of that manoeuvre when they did it. So you have to pull that out like that. And then that's the volume. Obviously, it takes a while to work because of the valves. And then when you want to switch it off, you dislocate the shoulder again. But it's very, very spindly. And I quite like how spindly it is. Anyway, let's get back to this. We've got the, uh, the polyphonic sound there. Um, I'll turn that off. So the polyphonic stuff. 
the mono synth. And then you've also got some different envelopes here. You've got um, a solo percussion envelope. You can have a fast decay with that. Or, if you turn that off, you can have a fast attack or slow attack. And also, you've got this uh, thing here, which is... And what I like about these Hammonds is the fact that you've got vibrato cancels. Instead of a thing that says turn the vibrato on, it's telling you to turn it off. So let's cancel the small... Let's, let's cancel all of it there. We'll leave that bit for in a minute. So that's the vibrato cancels solo small and solo wide. And if you turn the vibrato cancels off, the vibrato comes on. And if you pr press the, the solo wide vibrato on off, off, it comes on. You've also seen here it says organ and chords. Now, I haven't really talked about this yet. The This thing has got um, buttons on it like an accordion sort of idea with, a, with some uh, preset chords on it. You can see there it's got uh, major sixth, ninth, major, minor, seventh, diminished, augmented, minor, seventh. Um, these metal things don't do anything. They're just there to kind of rest your fingers on, I think. Um, but if you hold a chord down, and then you, you press on this bar here, like a space bar, you can add rhythmic accents to it. Now, while you're playing that, you can have the organ and chords vibrato off. So that's the cancel is on, so that means it's off. And then you can hear it come back on again. This thing is also very generous. It's got a couple of bass pedals as well. Rather than giving you the full octave, uh, you've only got the root note of each chord and the, or the fifth of each chord. It's quite a nice bass sound. So if I, I just play a couple of chords on here with the pedal down, I'll do the same ones with the, the fifth pedal down. And then, in fact, I'll do some major ones because they were major sixth. Uh, here we go. And then with the fifth pedal. So that that's, sounds quite good, I think. It's got rather a nice bass sound to it. And then similarly, you can play... Um, This keyboard is probably the most famous for being the instrument that George Harrison composed the Beatles song Blue Jay Way on. He was waiting in a, in a house in um, California or somewhere, or LA or somewhere like that, waiting for, I think, his press agent, Derek Taylor, and their, their friends to come round, and they got lost. And they were, they, he was staying in a house in a, a, a road called Blue Jay Way. That's what I think, anyway, it could be wrong. But in that house, they had one of these chord organs because they were a lot more popular in America than they were anywhere else. And it's quite rare to find one in the UK. And if I just show you here, it's quite easy to play Blue Jay Way on here as well.
Sorry, just played a couple of couple of chords on there, just a C there, look. Or what, I don't know what key it's in on the record. Out of all that, it just chose two. But anyway, it's a good song and it's got some nice cello on it. And it's also got some Lowry Leslie speaker effects on it, which we're going to be covering in another video when we talk about some Beatles effects, because I've got lots of things in this room which are all uh, the same instruments that they had at Abbey Road in the 60s. It's also got a volume soft button, like all the, the good Hammonds do, um, which is very, very boring, really, to show you, but it just goes... So it's up full volume here. Let's just turn everything on. That just sticks a resistor over the, the output. So on, the, on the chords as well, you've got a pedal fast decay so when you and then there's a, a mute setting which is like a filter and then the sustain cancel so you can actually switch the chords off completely and just play the bass notes by themselves until you Press on the space bar, black space bar thing here, so you can go. Let's turn the cancels, the vibrato cancels on and the vibrato off. Another thing this thing does, which is I, I've used it on a piece of music you may have heard before if you've listened to the other videos we've done, called Sir Jeffrey's theme. What it, what it is is you have the polyphonic sound on, and then you have the um, monophonic monosynth over the top with a. Hang on, let's try and get the right sound. So if I turn the, the, the polyphonic off, the, you've got the monophonic sound like on any of these other instruments, the solovox, the univox, the clavulene and the ondulene. If you hold a note down, a lower note down, and then play the higher notes, it will cancel that note out. So with the polyphonic organ on this, it actually sounds quite nice together. <laughs> tell you about this is the dials here we've got um very very simple just they're just like levels so you've got a, a, a pedal level now this will crackle like mad probably here we here we have a, a, a level for the pedal and a level for the organ oh, hang on. and then a level a separate level for the 
monosynth with lots of dust in it. I think it's quite a nice sound, the, the fact that you actually get, you've got two separate tone generators working at the same time. So you've got the polyphonic one, and then you've got a completely separate monophonic tone generator over the top of that. Which is rather good, I think. And you get some really nice bright... only a shame I haven't got a third hand to play the chords and the bass pedal stuff. I think I've talked about all of the switches on this thing. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I hope to see you again very soon. Good night.